So in my final week of quarantine, I figured I would finally figure out how to bunny hop my mountain bike. I've been riding for about four years, and I've um, ne never been able to do it, an American bunny hop, as they call it. Um, and so I started off by watching just about every single video out there on how to do it. Uh, Seth's Bike Hacks, Skills with Phil, GMBN, to try to get a good feel for uh, the proper technique and the proper form keeping your arms extended, using your legs to pump drive the bike forward. So you can see me here on the first day trying to figure out how to do that. This video is not really going to be a tutorial, but more like my journey and how I figured out how to actually do this. I'm hoping this would help somebody. Uh, on the second day, I kind of put a stick down. And I tried kind of pumping with my legs, getting the front wheel up over the stick, and just riding back and forth. And then they all recommend popping your front wheel and following your rear wheel uh, over the stick as well and then trying to get those motions closer and closer and closer together at this point I was really I was really having trouble comprehending how I was gonna go ahead and um, achieve the hop because I was spending a bit too much time focusing on getting that wheel as high as possible and spending too much time in that manual position and um, I was really struggling to figure out how I would get into the meerkat position as Seth describes it. So here on the third day I, I took a rest and uh, I found this manual machine on Lunch Ride's channel. Um, he has plans on his website on lunchridemtb.com. Figured I would use it to try to figure out how to get a better pop in my legs. Cost me about 20 bucks to build this and uh, it took me about an hour. So here's me in the manual machine, and at this point it kind of clicks in my head that I can try to get into, as Seth from Seth Bikes Hack describes it, the meerkat position um, without worrying about falling over. So I, you can see my bike is strapped in, and I'm kind of trying to figure out how to get into that position. So when you're doing this right, you're really engaging your core when you're snapping the, the bars to your, to your waist. So if, you, if you're doing this right, you really feel it in your core muscles. This is kind of just me trying to figure out how to get that position. So my problem was I was spending too much time focusing on getting my wheel as high as possible in the manual. And I recommend as soon as you're able to pump your legs and get that wheel up using your body weight, you focus on trying to get into this meerkat position. The manual machine actually really helped me in this situation and here I started after a few tries the manual machine uh, kind of figuring out the form I started trying to figure out how to do it while, while rolling so as soon as you preload pop down uh, drive your legs forward to kind of get the bike rolling out from under you as soon as the wheel begins to lift you immediately start to shift your weight forward don't spend too much time trying to wait for that wheel to rise and get get the bike as high as possible immediately as soon as the wheel begins to lift get your weight forward so this is actually my first bunny hop ever and it was actually an accident I was just trying to get into that meerkat position and at this point it just clicked in my head on how I'm supposed to move my body you can see me kinda of trying to do little hops here and there this is about day five of me riding it took me about a total of six hours to achieve this point right here. So here I placed a little block about seven and a half inches high to try to force myself to get over it and maybe use a bit more speed. You can see me kind of picking up my speed a little bit, getting more confident with the motion, and I finally begin to clear this thing. my first time actually nicely clearing it so I recommend not spending too much time on the manual as soon as you can get that wheel up um, try to get into that next meerkat position because as soon as you get there you're just about ready to jump so this is my newbies perspective on finally achieving a bunny hop and I hope that it helps somebody um, finally get to where they want to be as well thanks for watching